Right click. 50,000! Dude, this is nuts! Oh my god! That is so crazy powerful. This this is an awesome all-around creature. It is top-notch, man. Top-notch! What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D-Mac, and welcome, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. That's right, playing Modded Aberration on the Alpha Tribe server. So much fun, guys. Thank you. Thank you for coming and hanging out, joining me on the adventures. As you always do, please remember, show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. That's right, and if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe for the daily ARC awesomeness. Man, oh man, speaking of awesome, last episode, if you didn't see it, if you happen to miss it, you should definitely go check it out. We took out the Alpha Rockwell. Yes, our tribe, the Alpha tribe. We took him out. We got this super epic wall mount. So very cool. We got the Rockwell flags. Yep, indicated, indicating that we have defeated him. We also got all sorts of cool, neat, new little skins like this one. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man, it's a little goofy dino skin. I love it. Skins that you can wear on your helmet for, oop, turned out the light, on you or your glow pet. Oh, my goodness. Can I pick you up? Lizardo da Vinci. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Let's see. I've got a whole bunch of the guys wearing them up here. It's so incredibly cute. Look at this. Look, at Mr. Otter. What are you doing? He's like, I want to be a glow pet. I want to be. I'm. I'm. I decided I changed places with, with that guy. You're not a glow tail, bro. All right, all right. You can be our new glow tail. We'll pretend. And he's like, look at me. I'm an otter. You two are so silly. We got the awesome, scary skull mask. Look at that. Super epic. Oh, man. We have the super trolley. Trolley troll dude. Dude, you so silly, you bulb dog. And then, let me see. We got any more cool ones? Yep. These are all of them. So very cool. I think we saw them all. So very cool. We got our awesome uh, aberration implant artifact. Look at that thing. It's so crazy cool. It tells us that we beat the alpha one. I do love it. And we do have all the extra levels, which I haven't put into anything yet. I have not put into anything yet. Why don't we do it? Because you get you get stuck. We're supposed to be up to, I think, level 500 on the character. But let's see. Can we go any higher on the health? No, you get maxed out at 2,650. Why don't we do crafting skill? Why don't we go ahead and do that? I think that might be a cool thing. Awesome. Are we maxed out? Is that it? All right. So 493. Apparently, that's the highest we could go on ours. All right, very, very nifty. Now, I was coming on today, and there's been apparently a bunch of different updates. Updates, new Ingrams to unlock. Look at this, S+. Plus. Yes, they've got all sorts of new stuff because the new dev kit did come out. Let's go ahead and unlock our new Ingrams. Holy crud, so what do each of these things do? Dedicated storage. This is all part of the S+, Plus mod. Very cool. Dedicated storage intake. Very nice. So this week, I guess we can unload... Our stuff into here and this is just like if you only have a single resource crazy bulk storage for it very very necessary and needed we have the awesome s plus version so this one i assume it just adds the pickup to it charge injector so this keeps nameless at bay by injecting charge directly into the ground that is super crazy cool Oh my goodness and look at this it does require you to have the uh rock tech drake saddle Unlock to get this. This one's sleeping pod, and this one dedicated storage tech foundation. Okay, and then this last one. This requires the rail gun. So we've got all those officially unlocked now, even though we had them unlocked before, but officially unlocked that we beat the Alpha Rockwell. So this one crafts element, but requires direct contact with liquid elements. So the elementium to function. That is so super cool. So we should check all that stuff out. We also added in another mod that adds in special aberration mantis. Very cool. So we get this right here. This is the mantis berry sickle. I do dig it. Let's see. Is there any other shenanigans? S plus gas collector. Oh man. So this one, I assume you can get more stuff, more gas balls. Probably also be able to pick it up. We have tech elevator teleports you up or down. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. Jumping on this plate will propel you a great distance. What? 
oh man, we've checked all this stuff out today. And then we also have, very cool, the heavy auto turret now and the S plus charge station. No way, we'll draw a charge from nearby light pads. Oh man, this is so cool. So portable battery charge station, I love it. All these new things already unlocked. All right, so let me go craft all this stuff up and let's check it out. Man, I love update day. Thumbs up for update day. All right, guys, made up all the cool new stuff. Let's check it all out. Man, this is going to be craziness, craziness, craziness. All right, first of all, charging station. I want to see what the crap this does. What do you do, bro? So it's supposed to be able to pull charge from your lighty pet. Let's see, current charge zero. Let's just see when we look inside of it. So we'll draw a charge from nearby light pets. It only receives one charge for every five pulled. Can recharge charge batteries. Does not protect against nameless. Cannot craft element. All right, good to know. So little portable charging station. Let's go ahead, where do we have batteries? I think we have, I had to use batteries to craft it. Let's see. All right, good, I have a ton of empty batteries. Let's go ahead, pull all these out. Oh man, this should be crazy, this should be crazy. All right, throw all these batteries inside. All right, and I got my chargey pet on my shoulder. Let's see if it works, so activate. All right, current charge zero. Is that because it's going into a battery? No, no. So what happens when I throw down my lighty pet? Is she gonna work now? What are you doing, bro? It's not doing anything. Deactivate, activate. All right, so I guess we'll just let it chill here. This guy is all lit up. Are you losing charge at all, bro? All right, so we'll give it a little bit of time. We'll see what happens. We'll see if it will be a thing, but it definitely it should be working. We'll see. We'll just see how it works. All right. Next up, we have the S plus uh, tech bed, tech pod. All right. So it looks just like normal tech pod. However, you do have the option to go ahead and just pick it straight up. So that's cool. Now I noticed something. It was the first thing that I went and tested. Let me pull off my tech boots. Let's fly up a bit. I want to get some damage put on myself. So tech beds, they're supposed to be able to heal you up. You know, when shenanigans happens, reheal your vitals. All right, that do some damage. Did a little bit. Let's go a little bit higher this time. Let's get some more of our vitals down. And, oh yeah, that's a big fall. That's a big fall. That should hurt. That should hurt. Oh, okay. So we got our vitals down a good little bit. Let's go ahead and lay on the tech bed. All right, cool, and let's look at our vitals. So it does seem like it's healing the health, but not that quick, and notice it's not doing the water, it's not doing the food. Okay, but you're saying, okay, well, it's doing the weight. Yes, I mean, the health. Yes, it is, but check out the vanilla one. Check this out. Watch how quickly it does it. Super quick, and immediately heals the other vitals. So yeah, that's still, it seems like it's bugged. It's not fully finished, but it is cool. I'm sure in the next update, it will be working. It will be all fine. All right, just finish healing up, bro. Finish healing up. I gotta be, I gotta be at my, my max, at my perfect. Hopefully it does it faster. This is my hope once everything's working out well. All right, cool. So we have our tech bed and it looks pretty similar it almost looks like it might have a little bit more gold in there that could be because of the lighting could be because of the lighting but it's pretty similar for the most part which as it should be all right next thing up next thing up what do we have here we have the elevators awesome all right let's see how this works this this i'm really really excited about i, I have high hopes for the elevators all right, let's go ahead. Oh man, we could do like elevator up to the roof there. That would be super duper awesome. Let's see, where's another place I can do an elevator? Cause I'm gonna assume this is just like a floor. Just like a floor, okay. So if it's just like a floor, why don't we come on over here? This might be an even better place to try and set it. All right, right about, oh, where's a good spot? Come on. All right, we'll try it out right here. Hopefully this will clip in and work. All right, so we got the elevators. But bam, we got one elevator done there. Okay. 
And then let's get another one put on up here. Right about... Oh, crap, 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 crap. There. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. So we have the elevator. So hold for more options. Pick up, demolish. All right, all that shenanigans. And what does it say? It says, jump to go up, crouch to go down. Can't be much easier than that. All right, crouch. Dude, jump. Oh my goodness, I love this. This is going to be amazing. Holy crap, and it is just like a floor. That is super duper cool. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so much better. Never have to deal with ladders again. I wonder what's the max height too. Oh man, so that's a super duper awesome thing. You could even have a hidden base. Just have like a little pad like this. And then way, way up in a tree or who knows how high. You just go boom and you're in there. And there's no shenanigans. It's just instant. That is super cool. I, I like that a lot. All right, next up. We have jump on this plate to propel you a great distance. All right, that could be interesting. This definitely could be interesting. So what what exactly would a great distance entail? What does that even mean, bro? What does that even mean? Let's go set something up. Right, right about in maybe in here. All right, let's do it. Can I do it? Okay, we'll do it right there. All right. So again, reading it again. I'll teleport you up and down. Jump on this plate to propel you a great distance. All right. So jump. Ooh, ooh, yeah, it's like a trampoline. Holy crud. Just just to make sure, let me take off my jetpack. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. So if you just want to, instead of the elevator, if you just wanted to have a big jumpy thing, it kind of, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird as far as exactly how the jumpiness works. Go! It yeah, it definitely launches you upward more than forward. But that's still super cool. Oh, I love all these new little things. So yeah, if you just wanted to get like up a, a big rock or a big ledge, you could just launch yourself. Totally cool, totally awesome. Loving it. Loving it, loving it. All right, next, charge injector. Keeps the nameless at bay by injecting charge directly into the ground. All right, let's try this bad boy out. So directly into the ground, what what the crap would this mean? All right, let's try putting, oh, that kind of looks like, remember this thing? It's like a little, yeah, that is so cool. The little flying uh, droid. Oh my goodness, so requires batteries to be activated. Um, charge uses increases with the radius. All right, so adjust range, show range. Let's see how big the range is. So this, oh, that's a pretty big range as is. That totally is, that's, this would be great if you wanna live in the blue area or anywhere where name will spawn for that matter. Oh man, but yeah, it just directly keeps them out. That is sweet. So again, it requires charge. Let's see how this, this thing is doing. I feel like it's not working, to be honest with you. Current charge, zero. Oh, no, I'm totally wrong. Look at that. Look at that. It's already charged up all these batteries. That is crazy good, and it's currently doing this one. All right, how are you doing, Chargy Pet? How's your charge, bro? Oh, his charge is going up pretty quick. Look at that. Yeah, it's it's sucking out super quick. So having multiple charging pads would probably be good. Um, let's go ahead. It says it's unpowered. Can I just... All right, that's going to access its inventory. All right, boom, and it's charged. So between these two things and just your lighty pads... Oh, man, that is so cool. Activate. Oh, dude, look at that. That is sweet. So it still probably just stays there. I wouldn't think that it actually moves around anywhere, but that is crazy good. Oh man, so hide range. And we can adjust the range to be bigger or smaller. All right, how quickly is it going through the battery? It's not that quick. I mean, it's definitely going. It's not slow, but we, we got plenty of space there. That is excellent. That is super sweet. All right, guys. Oh man, oh man. So what do we have to check out next? We've got gas collector, we've got the catalyzer, 
and we have the dedicated storage intake. Sweet, 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 sweet. All right, let's go check these things out. All right, guys, the next thing that we want to try and do it has to do with the deep storage. Or what are these called again? Storage. Here we go right here. The dedicated storage box. Now, notice the recipe. It takes Omnite Bile and Leech Blood. So I'm not exactly sure. I think the Leech Blood we can get from a Lamprey. The Omnite Bile, we'll have to find out. Maybe, maybe the Lamprey also has that. But if it doesn't, if it doesn't, within S+, Plus, I think we should be able to do it. Let's see. Oh, and by the way, added, we can now grind for all the S plus stuff. Look at that. Gasoline, substrate, and silk. Interesting. Crystals, we can get all the different types of gems. Cool. Let's see. In arc. There we go. We can get ammonite bile, blood pack, and leech blood. So we got to get something going on with leech blood. By the way, I believe we also have the stacking mod now finally, finally working with the crystals, the new uh, aberration stacking mod. We also notice I have the, um, down below in the right hand corner, it says that I'm wearing a hazard suit. Well, I'm wearing a tech suit. We got a mod added in that makes, I, uh, it makes the tech suit work now as a hazard suit. So that is super cool. And let's just see the gems. I, I wanna see, do we have any gems in here? Gem, no. No, do we not? Do we not, sir, do we not? All right, let's find where we have some gems. One of these things gonna have gems, I just know it. There we go, 200, does it stack higher? Dang it, it's not working yet. Doesn't seem to be working, I don't know, we'll find out. So, why don't we go out and let's get some uh, lamprey shenanigans. I think that should be cool. Let's go get some leech bud, we can toss that in there. We can test this out, and while we go test out our suit, and then the gas collector, the specialty of this is that it can put all the congealed balls into the the, uh, the deep storage, whatever the crap storage is called. So cool. And then I also have all the stuff to be able to tame one of these new mantis. So we'll, we'll have a peek see, we'll, we'll look around, we'll see what we can find as far as these new mantis, aberrant mantis, that should be sweet. Man, oh man, should be epic. So anyway, I'll meet you, I guess, over in the hazard zone. We could probably just teleport there real quick and find out. Make sure our tech suit is working. Let's see, has one. Let's go. Oh, it better be working. I'm going to be so upset if it's not. Please work, please work. And, oh my goodness. Oh, oh crap. No, close, close. <laughs> Yeah, it seems to be working. It seems to be working. That is awesome. That is so super cool. All right, Lighty Pet, do your thing. All right, we let up, we let up. Awesome. All right, let's go find some Elementium. All right, you know what? Is this the best place? I'm going to go to... Oh my goodness, Seekers! Go the crap away. Um, let's actually go to a different one. Let's go to the Rockwall Spawner, Rockwall Obelisk. Because this puts me into possibly different spot. Now, I'm curious how this is going to work. Because I think you can't set structures usually by, by all the shenanigans. Or at least in a lot of the spots. Let's go to the waterfall first. All right. This, this might be able to be a spot. Let's find out if we can set stuff. Let's first put down a teleporter. Yeah, see, I can't set down a teleporter here. All right. So how is this going to work with this thing in the jigger? Yeah, see, it's not letting me set it. Ooh, but it is letting me set it there. All right, so is that considered inside the Elementium? I guess so. Let's set that in. Sweet. Oh, dude, look at this. Catalyzer. All right, so what this is doing is it's basically just allowing you to be able to craft element. That's cool. It's cool. It's not the coolest, but it's cool. All right, awesome. I mean, we have so many other ways to get element, it doesn't really matter for us, but if you're playing with only S+, that would definitely be a handy thing. Definitely, definitely. Anyway, let's now go and let's see if we can find some lampreys. Let's go into the blue zone. All right, and we gotta hope that we can get leech blood up the wazoo. Gotta be a thing. All right, everybody gone, everybody dead. All right, we can do this. We can do this, I know it can be a thing. 
I'm trying to think. I really don't see lampreys that much because I don't hang out in the blue zone. Let's go ahead and change the harvest settings to be enabled. All right, and let's see if we can find these these rascally lampreys. Do you see any? Oh, and check this out. Our first mantis, aberrant mantis. There's three of them. They're all kind of low level. Let's go cream them. Hello, guys. Nice. All right, we got a couple mantis killed. I want to wait to get, I'm going to say 500 plus on the mantis. This is going to be my thing. Get wrecked. Still no lamprey. I'm still hunting. There might be a particular area. It's still a creature we need to tame as well. Lampreys have a special ability to let you go, I believe, into, into the hazard zone. Those are eels. Look at those little guys, right? No, those are lampreys. Oh, beautiful. Look at all that leech blood. Oh, man. Look at these little suckers. Oh, that's awesome. I think I believe they look kind of like seekers without wings. They got that same like nasty, nasty cup face full of nasty jaws. All right. Well, we should have got plenty of leech blood there. That's cool. I'm still unsure about the ammonite vial, but we we can get that no problem. We can get that no problem. Look at more mantis, more mantis. What what levels are you? Drake, don't do that to me today. 120, 120, I think it said, 80. Man, they're spawning in kind of low level. We'll just see, we'll just see. We'll use the dino scanner and actually see what comes out. But man, is there a ton of them? There is a crap ton of them. All right, 80, and is that the 120? Yep, yep. My goodness, guys, so many. All right, so we'll peek around. I'm not sure, so far I've only seen them in the blue zone. We'll see if they spawn other places. All right, guys, back with the leech blood. Let's go ahead, put some of this in here, and let's get some of this ammonite, ammonite venom. So just blood pack in that. Kabammy, beautiful. Can we get a couple of them, please? Babammy. Babammy. Come on, come on. Babammy. And one more. Babammy. I know I could have just done five in there, but what? Whatevs. Don't matter, don't matter. All right, so there is no uh, crop plot that is currently for leech blood or ammonite vial, so we're going to have to use the tech two crop plot, which will be just fine. So let's go ahead and take two of those. Awesome, awesome. And this should allow us to get all the leech blood and ammonite vial or venom or whatever the crap as much as we want. So won't be no thing, won't be no thing. I just want to get this kind of put out of the way. Oh, man, blocking doors left and right. All right, we'll just put it right there. Whatevs. Whatevs. All right, so we got that there. And, uh, and this eventually should go downstairs. But for now, temporarily, it'll go upstairs. All right, so most any items, things like this, we should be able to just click in there, turn on. All right, and momentarily, it will work. Hopefully, if all goes well, and turn on. Beautiful. Oh man, oh man. All right, let's just give it a second. Give it a second, and we should be golden. All right, guys, about 10 minutes-ish has passed, and let's check out how we're doing. What do we got? Oh, nice, it's totally working, totally working. All right, let's take all but one from each of these. I know I can just pull them, but I do it this way. I did notice with the Tech 2 crop plots, there can be the issue where it pulls everything all the way since there's no like second seed item so oh man look at all that leech blood look at this this is beautiful oh man all right so we're gonna be able to make all the deep storage units that is for sure or whatever the crap why i call them deep storage that's like a minecraft thing i also tried this with drake eggs and check this out it actually works on drake eggs Oh man, so I mean, I don't think these will be great for being hatched because I think they come out at level one. I'm gonna turn this off, but the original one still is normal level, but notice that one doesn't say level. However, we should be able to use those in the future for taming Basilisk, which that's pretty gosh darn cool. Definitely, definitely, hopefully it will be a thing. All right, so anyway, let's try getting this deep storage or 
I know I keep calling it the wrong name. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on. All right, storage unit. Let's pull. All we need is black pearls. Ba Bam. All right, how much? Oh, we got enough for a ton of these. All right, so why don't we make three more? We'll try making four of them. So you, you want to have a different one for each each item. You can only store a single item in them, but I'm curious to see what the inventory looks like. I'm also curious to see how big these are. They kind of look like they're going to be enormous, maybe like the size of one wall. So it'll be it'll be a little curious. Let's try it out. We got two of them made already. Let's try this out. Oh my, this is so cool. How big is it going to be? Oh, it's really not that big. Oh man, it snaps very, very nicely. Oh, that is great. All right, um, where can I set it? I don't want it to be in the way. All right, let's set one right there. Dude, this is so cool. So I can't access it normally. Set resource. Oh, and you just choose what you want it to be. Oh, that is so cool. So you just choose the one thing. Now, will it automatically pull it, or do I have to put it in there? This, I don't know. Let's try Ammonite Bile. All right, so that just holds the bile, and look at that. How many slots? 10,000 slots. All right, so zero items transferred. Okay, so let's go grab some more bile. All right, let's take all but the one. All right, and walk up to it. So it's in our inventory. Deposit. Look at that, and it tells you 32. That is so cool. All right, and then what about when I want to take them out? All right, can't deposit any. Show rain here, here. Withdraw stack. Oh, ooh, ooh, it just took all of them. What the crap? How did that happen? Zero items transfer. What the crap? Consolidate. I think I think I pulled it out. Okay, zero items transferred. Withdraw stack. Okay, yeah. So now it should be on me. Deposit. Now it's in there. That is so nifty. All right. Now let's try this other little thingamajig. So that's gonna be great for for all storing all your different items. Get so many, especially with these crop plots. All right. And of course we're gonna have to have a better room for it or whatever. All right. Let's set this little stick thing here all right so upgrade that's interesting i'm not sure what the upgrades do that maybe it increases the range all right zero let's go ahead and remove withdraw stack that work all right there we go so we withdrawed it and now deposit yeah, look at that. So we can just go up to this one thing. So instead of having to go to each of the different items, you can just go to the one stick. Let's see Let's set, see if I can set down another one of these. Oh, look at that. So we can snap it right on top or below or ever. Oh, man, that's so cool. All right, so again, let's withdraw stack. Okay. Let's get a bunch of the leech blood now on us too. All right. I got to put it back in there. Got to put one back in there. All right, leech blood two. Go in there. And go in there. Sweet. All right. Let's set the resource for this top one. So set resource. Let's go to leech blood. It would be nice they had a little typey thing in there. But whatevs. All right, leech blood. All right. So now if I just walk up to this stick, I can say deposit. Yes, and it deposits both of the items. So we can just do all the items that way. That is so cool. I love this feature. Very, very, very cool. Oh, man. So definitely way more storage than a safe if you're trying to just do a single item. Definitely cool, guys. Definitely cool. I dig it. Oh, man. And it also for like items that can't stack like batteries would probably be super convenient. Definitely all sorts of items. Oh, man, I love it. Very, very cool feature. Can I withdraw anything from here? This one I'm curious about. 
upgrade cons- I don't know what to do though. I got I should read on that, but it doesn't look like we can we can only deposit from this. Yeah, cuz see it's called a storage intake. Very cool. All right. Well, we learn things new all the time. All the time. All right, guys. So next up, let's go find an amazing aberrant mantis. Aberrant manti. All right, guys. Here we go. 580 aberrant mantis. This is going to be awesome. So from what I hear, holy crap. I can knock them out or passive tame them. I, we're going to try for the knockout team. Come here, buddy, bro. All right. Is a down. And right now, normally they would take Featherlight Kibble, but we don't have that. So otherwise, we would take one of those two things. So we'll just try both, see what happens. See what it eats. See what it prefers. And is it taming? Put food in inventory to tame. What the crap? I did. I did. It should be one of those things. Come on, baby. Don't mess up for me. Don't mess up for me. Oh, there we go. See, perfect. 100%. Let's see what it's preferring. Oh, can we get in quick enough? All right. It looks like it preferred the spoiled meat. So good to know. Good to know. Oh, no. All right. You're done, bro. You're done. All right. Let's grab both those things out. Sweet. Let's get on our awesome epic saddle. All right. So we're back at the community center, back at the base. And let's check this guy out. So again, normal Amanda saddle does work on it. But but what's super cool is it comes with the Ingram to unlock it right there. We can make all the different types of metal tools. We can make the refining forge on the go. So that way he can harvest metal and then you can cook it up. We are able to get the whip and then it gets everything else that the, the horse a horse. The horsey horse is able to get so like pestle and mortar so very super cool does have the jump doesn't have a climb that that would be super cool if that got added in if it had like a drake lunge where it could like lunge over and then attach onto the walls that would make this thing incredible but even as is it's pretty pretty gosh darn good it should glow at night so a little bit different skinned than the normal mantis so that's cool i'm gonna imagine that I don't know, maybe it's legs where you see those leg parts. It'll glow. We'll see when it actually becomes nighttime. And it does have the Ravager ability once again. So you can see 8.8 .8 versus 17.5. It's probably going to work for most of the aberration items. It does seem to work for metal too. That's super cool. And then the special metal sickle that only this guy has and it's not a weapon i don't believe i can use at least that's what it says that's what it claims even though it is going there maybe it doesn't work work on other things anyway so hands it is also supposed to be a meat spoiler for raw meat but i don't necessarily see it going faster let's see one minute versus yeah see 43 minutes till it spoils on me versus only one minute on there. So it make, it does make things spoil faster. I was expecting it to be instant, but that's still still pretty good. Now with this sickle, the special thing about this is normally sickles give extra fiber. Whereas this sickle, look at that. It gives fiber, but it also gives berries up the wazoo. So super duper, actually, why is it not getting, okay, there we go, just a little lagged out. So super duper handy. As a mount, it basically can get everything and anything. We also let's see. I wonder if the uh, text sword works on him. <gasps> oh, does it work on you? Oh man, it was showing that it did for a second. Oh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like it does. But we can use, of course, all the other stuff on it. So that's cool. That is really cool. There's also a costume slot. Not exactly sure. Let's see. We don't have any silk on us. Silk we can get, but only through the grinder on Aberration. So anyway, pretty gosh darn cool. Definitely is just like an all around mount on Aberration. Definitely cool. Let's go ahead and level it up and let's take a look at these stats. They're pretty. It's a level 580, so 869 after the fact. All right, let's just get it out to max. But it is pretty well rounded. 2,415 weight. Not bad. Movement speed's a little slow. I always remember on Mantis, I like to have it faster. So we'll probably deal with that. But notice too, it's got a crafting speed. Ooh, this is interesting. 
is there any way that this makes things spoil faster too? We're we're just spoiling, spoiling type thing. Four minutes, four minutes. Let's do it a few more times. Yeah, still. So it doesn't look like it makes that go faster, but we can definitely craft items faster on them. And if you used them as a pestle and mortar, it would probably be crazy fast. Oh yeah, because it spoils faster. Oh man, and then it also crafts faster. This is awesome. Yeah, so getting that crafting skill up. Can we see it actually rise? That it's pretty cool. It's going it is going quite a bit faster. Awesome. Let's get that movement speed boosted up like crazy cuz it's going to be mad fun. Let's say Let's get it to 400. Oh my goodness, this is going to be crazy. I mean, we could go higher. And those are baller speed boosts too oh man that is so much better and then with the jump too holy crud all right let's hope that we can have time to boost up our melee a lot before taking these guys on oh my goodness all right coming after me coming after me not doing that much damage yet all right let's let's try him with this bam dude epic oh wrecking face come on come on yes that is so cool Dude, I love this. And the mod author said this should have been an aberration from the get-go. I'm going to agree with that. This is super duper cool as a mount. I love it. Once you get that movement speed up and having high levels like we do is awesome. Let's go ahead and also get that health way the crap up. Oh my goodness, this is going to be crazy town. All right, let's get it to that 100,000. And I want to make sure that we can get max attack on this guy. Again, I mean, it's just kind of a jack of all trades. Seriously, a jack of all trades. All right, let's go on down here. Let's get some Dynawade X. Come on, come on. You know what? This guy can probably get his own. Let's give him our hatchet. Would the hatchet be the best thing for getting mushrooms? I want it. Come on, brosy. Let me try it. Let me try it with this. Hand. Oh crap, I hate how it makes you have to do that first. All right, let's just see if we can get some mushrooms from these trees. Oh yeah, look at that, 180 rare mushrooms. Dude, let's hopefully you got uh, mayhoes already. Let's see, oh crap, but I have to do it on myself. Dynawade axe, all right, so for this we just need, where's your mayhoes? Mayhoes and mushrooms, baller town. Yeah, I mean, this is a great, great mount. So much coolness that you can do on them. For realsies, bro, for realsies. Do we have a sword on us by any chance? Oh, man. All right, let's see what he does. No, not, not on us. On him. I'm having difficulties, as you can see, doing this. All right, there we go. So we got the swords, the aberration sword, nonetheless. That is awesome. The skin shows up on it. All right, let's go. Is it faster when I go like this? I don't know. Now that also gives extra armor. Whatever item he's carrying on his person also counts as armor, but it, it wrecks the durability. So you really want to have an item that's unbreakable. And hopefully we get, holy crap, get something added in with that. Look at that with the weapon. This is going to be crazy, crazy strong. Oh man, and I bet you he can even repair the sword and any of his tools. Oh my goodness, this is nuts. I love this. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. All right, let me just get him the max attack. I gotta see what that stat ends up looking like. All right, so we're at 250. 255 is the max we can go without it resetting after a server restart. Two, three, four, and five. Beautiful. And I've already been working on the weight, too. I feel like the weight would definitely be super handy dandy since this guy is intended to be a collector, kind of. So, I mean, that's 10,000 weight. I'm trying to think. I, I'm not sure what other stats I want to boost on him. Probably the rest going into health. But, yeah, let's let's see what this actually hits for now. Oh, my goodness, D-Max. Stop going into your inventory. All right, and it really hasn't done that much to the sword yet. I want to see what a, a normal hit does without any weapon. So 6,000 and, whoa, 21,000 with the right click. Oh my goodness. All right, we got to get something not mate boosted. I think all those things were mate boosted. Come here. Come here. Yeah, this is the horsey that he gets the ability. That 
point did this is very inconsistent what is up with that 14 how did we get such a high damage on the one guy all right remember there was this type of guy 14 yeah i don't know what the crap man i don't know what the crap but yeah let's try it now with the sword all right and right click Fifty thousand, dude this is nuts oh my god that is so crazy powerful that blows away anything dude that's so weird look at look at how how is this thing i i have two things on me oh the the animation's got to be messed up all right and left click 43 with the left click this is crazy town guys oh my god all right can i put two things on i don't know how there's i don't know how it's like that how he has both of them out but hey i am not complaining and he can make his own sword this of course part of the reason the damage is so high is that he's he's got the um 700 sword i mean oh my goodness this is so nuts this is so cool plus we have that insane insane weight this this is an awesome all-around creature it is top notch man top notch oh good lord and caught that jump does it take fall damage let's just see dude i don't think it takes fall damage either this is crazy town all right really loving this mantis i mean it is it's it's not overpowered for modded but based on how we have everything right now Dash with those top weapons it's it's pretty it's pretty powerful it's our most powerful mount i mean minus the uh mosa god goodness all right can we dismount thank you sir thank you you did awesome and we can breed these too i mean it just gets better and better and better oh it's nighttime it is the nighttime let's just see if we can actually go into the darkness let's turn off our lighty pet and can we get yeah look at the glow that is so cool look at that oh man super duper cool i dig it i dig it i dig it all right what a day tons of new updates tons of new cool stuff and the best part is this is just getting started because so many new mods are coming out and updating for aberration creatures it's uh, this is going to be the best thing ever this is going to be so much fun i do love it i do love it anyway guys on that note um i think we did just about everything that we need to do today we checked out all the updates we got the new aberrant mantis totally totally love it so very cool and uh yeah like we do at the end of every single episode i think it is now time to name the dinos that's right at the end of every single episode for those of you that do not know i go through the comments of the previous episode and i pick out names for the new creatures and dinos that we have tamed so i went through the comments already i already did the name and do remember guys if you want to be part of this you have to be a subscriber so slam that button and just put your name suggestion in the comments below for today we have the four new clones for thunderbolt mm -hmm. thunder this thunderbolt right here hey thunderbolt you want to see what your new clones names are he goes okay buddy okay it's about time it's a weird voice bro we have yellow jacket love it love it yellow jacket we have zeus totally fitting name for the yellow ones love it we have solar blast super sweet name so many awesome names i'd say there was like 30 others that were totally awesome that eventually we'll use eventually we'll use and the last one is thunder strike oh so cool i'm loving all these yellow names awesome buddy awesome so for next episode, I think the only new thing that we have tamed or that needs to be named is the Aberrant Mantis. So guys, name suggestions, aber uh, Aberration, Aberrant Mantis down below. Anyway, guys, thank you so very much for coming, hanging out, joining me on the adventures as you always do. Show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe to the Daily Arc Awesomeness. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And peace out.